Hey everybody, this is Dr. Chris Dost. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is the first in a new series on Biblical Aramaic that I'm doing. You'll notice that the title is in Spanish because I first published this video in Spanish and I'm too lazy to change the, uh, the cover. Um, so in this series, I'm going to be using the second edition of An Introduction to Aramaic by Greenspan. That's going to be the, uh, the textbook. I think it's an excellent textbook. Uh, make sure that, uh, you know, if you're going to buy it, and I do recommend that you buy it, that you get the second corrected edition because there are a number of mistakes in the first one. Um, now, if you've never studied Hebrew or Aramaic before, it's very important that you at least familiarize yourself with the Hebrew and Aramaic alphabet before watching any of the subsequent videos that I'm going to be producing as part of this series. In order for you to benefit from these videos, you must have at least a basic foundation of Hebrew. So on my YouTube channel, I have a number of videos about the Hebrew and Aramaic alphabet. So be sure to watch them first if you've never studied uh, Hebrew or Aramaic before. One of the reasons I like using Greenspan's book is not only because he offers numerous examples for practice, but he is also clear in his instruction, at least in my opinion. Furthermore, the book analyzes not only the Aramaic texts of the Hebrew Bible, which are essentially only found in uh, the books of Ezra and Daniel, but we also get a number of other texts, which I'll talk about in a minute. Now, regarding Ezra and Daniel, about half of the book of Ezra and about half of the book of Daniel are written in Aramaic. And there are also some words and phrases found elsewhere in the Hebrew Bible, but there is a reason we call the Hebrew Bible the Hebrew Bible because it's written predominantly in Hebrew. So what are the other texts that uh, Greenspan analyzes that are not part of the Hebrew Bible? And so you'll see on your screen that he includes a chapter on some inscriptions that have been discovered by uh, archeologists, so chapter 28. In chapter 29, he analyzes some letters from Elephantina, Egypt, and the period of the Jewish revolt. And in addition, he also analyzes some Jewish texts from the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Midrashim, the Aramaic Targums, the latter of which is a translation of the Hebrew Bible into Aramaic that was produced over approximately 1,000 years. Well, that's it for today. I hope you join me next time as we begin looking at portions of the book of Ezra. Uh, in the meantime, you may want to watch and review my previous videos on the Aramaic language that I've already posted on the channel, as I mentioned before. Um, also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell to be notified when I publish additional videos in this series. Be sure to hit the like button. And I would also highly encourage you to watch uh, the videos through to the end when I publish them because I'm only going to continue publishing uh, new videos if I see that people are actually watching them to the end because I don't want to spend my time on... Um, things that are not of interest. So please encourage your friends and uh, fellow students of Hebrew and Aramaic to check out these videos and to help with the watch hours so that we can start to get some promotions and subscriptions for the channel. All right, see you next time, everybody.